Hello, it's Thursday and this video is about an article I published yesterday on my site www.penelopewhitely.com uh, on the subject of the invisible woman. And sadly, this is something that happens to many of us as we reach our 50s. We become invisible. We acquire a Harry Potter cloak of invisibility. It's not surprising that the results of nearly all the surveys on this particular topic show as many as seven out of ten women believe this to be true. Why is it not surprising? Because it is true. And most women seem to feel it's due to our appearance. The fact that we acquire grey hair, we often have to wear glasses, we have a thickened waist, the thighs we have now are not the thighs we went to bed with the night before. They're somebody else's. Um, it's an overall downswing in our appearance. And no matter what we do, we are never going to look 18 again, which is sad, but that's the way it is. So we're generally disillusioned and it comes down to nobody said it was going to be like this because they didn't tell you that sort of thing. And the other thing, of course, that happens as we start to reach our 50s and beyond, for some of us it starts earlier, is you know, the odd moment of walking into the kitchen, for example, and thinking, why did I come in here? Mind you, I've been doing that since my early 30s, so it's of little consequence to me now. At a certain time, no matter our sex, um, we notice that life is geared towards the young. But it's always been that way when you think about it. You know, it's the young that we send off to wars. It's the young that we use when we need labour to do dreadful things. Um, it's the young who have so much freedom now that we didn't have, and yet they don't seem to know what to do with it. And I think one of the things we must do, as women over 50 particularly, we must surround ourselves with as many young people as possible, and we must understand what this new society is about, how they are experiencing youth, and what it means to them, and what it doesn't mean to them. And I think we must also recognise that the way it is now is so different to the way it was for us that we really can't expect a lot of crossing over here. We have to accept that it is new. Um, I posted in this particular article a survey from Gransnet and the five, um, <laughs> five outcomes were about being ignored, being ignored in a bar or a pub or a restaurant, um, put, being pushed past or shoved in a queue or a crowd, being ignored in shops, that's always a biggie, being in, ignored entering a restaurant. And I do remember, it has changed slightly, that in many restaurants and in many countries, if you're a woman on your own, they would try and seat you next to the toilet door or the kitchen door which was just not on, certainly not for me anyway. Um, and just generally being ignored, which is really most frustrating. And I think there are things we can do to improve the system, to make sure that we're not ignored. And one of the things, of course, is engage people, chat to people. Everyone loves to chat, everyone loves to smile, everyone loves to laugh. Chat about ridiculous things. It doesn't make any difference. You know, you're probably never going to see that person again. Smile. Smile at everyone. It's very youthful. It raises your energy. It raises the other person's energy. Stand up tall. You remember de deportment? It's even more important as we age than when we were younger. Offer the wisdom of maturity, 
always surround yourself with young people. I've said that. Try and do it. Or certainly people, not necessarily young, but people who have a different mindset to you and who do different things to whatever it is you've done during your life. Learn from the young. I said that as well. And recognise that appearance does matter. A lot of people, women in particular, once they reach their 50s, think that your appearance doesn't matter anymore. And it does. You may have grey hair, you may wear glasses, you may have a thickened waist. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. If you wear a smile, you change the way you're dressed so you look bright. Imagine you're being followed by a soft pink spotlight. That'll do it. Um, what do you think? Do you think uh, there are ways in which we can change people's perception of the way in which women age? Are we going to accept ageism? Are we going to become invisible or are we going to say, no, we're not accepting this. Please let me know. I'd like your opinion. See you tomorrow. Ciao.